What's up y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, and 18xx. Today, we're reaching way back. Okay, in board game world, way back. 2004. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 1970. <laughs> 1960, I mean... Off the rails already. <laughs> uh, so we're featuring Goa, uh, designed by Rudiger Dorn and published by our copy, which is the second edition published by Z-Man Games, also Hansen Gluck, and about eight other publishers. So I'm Edward, uh, your host, and you guys should know all these folks. Thank you, Dave. Robert. Jerry. So thanks, everybody, joining us live around the world, as well as after the fact. And for those of y'all in the States... Happy Labor Day. So, y'all hopefully are having a day off, spending time with friends and family. Barbecuing. Right. And we have the, the Hawaiian shirt day. I didn't get the memo or else yeah. I would have as well. Not a Hawaiian shirt, but it's Maui. Right. Yeah. So, we failed. Jerry. Right. We failed. Failed. So, sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> At least uh, you got here. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. Everyone was awake when I got here. I mean, <laughs> it's a good day. Right? Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a fun day, it looks like, y'all. Uh, so again, this is the second edition. There is one significant change that I'm aware of between the first edition and second edition. We're going to be playing the second edition rules today. When I go through the teacher, I'm going to bring down the chat and cameras as I am wont to do so you guys can focus on the actual teach. It's going to be a pretty expedited teach because, to be honest with you, it's a pretty simplified game. It's, it's a classic uh, style game, Euro. So, one last thing. Normally, I give a shout out to one particular patron, um, but today I wanted to say thanks to the 720 of y'all out there that choose to support the show and help me be able to do this for a living, bringing this to y'all, us. As well, I wanted to give a special shout out to everybody in the small council. So, just want to say thanks for all the help behind the scenes, y'all. So, that's Rob, Bev, Matt, and Dan. Thanks a lot, y'all. Really, really appreciate it. That said, y'all ready to rock and roll? Let's do it. Yep. All right, here we go. All right. So, thematically, in Goa, you personify a Portuguese spice merchant who travels between Portugal and India. Each player will attempt to expand and grow his business and fields such as building ships, harvesting spices, collecting taxes, mounting expeditions, as well as founding and developing new colonies. Your ultimate goal is to have the most victory points at the end of the game. And I got to be perfectly honest with everybody watching. At no point in any of this do I feel like the theme comes through. That is truly a pasted-on theme, but mechanically, pretty solid game. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So the goal of the game, victory points. However, you'll notice there is no victory point track anywhere out here. Nobody knows exactly how they're doing, uh, so we're going to count it up at the end. So be aware of that. The game takes place over two phases. There's an A phase and then a B phase. They are mechanically identical. The only difference is the actual tiles that are in the A deck versus the B deck are a little bit different. The Bs get stronger, plus there's some other little quirky little ones here and there. So what you're looking at here is the actual main board where we're going to be doing a lot of the game. So here we have the auction tiles that we're going to be auctioning these off. We have the money over here, discard piles for tiles as we go through them. We then have the colonies out here. And then we have the extra action cards. We have colonists, one and three value. You can freely make change. We have ship cards, which again can freely make change. And then we have the expedition cards, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Then on our player tableau area, everybody has a development track here and everything starts at the zero level or kind of the top level, I shouldn't say the zero level, the top level there. And then here we have rooms for our colonies as well as our plantations and the auction order. We also have a first player marker and we'll randomize that before the game starts. Over at the top then, we also have the five different types of resources going left to right. We have ginger, 
We have cinnamon, although I'm convinced it's cassia, not cinnamon, <laughs> but okay. Pepper, nutmeg, and clove, or white, brown, green, red, and black, whichever you prefer, all right? So the game, as I said, takes place over two phases. Within each phase, there are four turns. Within each turn, there are kind of three plus rounds, if you will, all right? So each round consists of placing the auction tokens. So I guess these are technically the rounds and these are the turns. So during each round, we're going to the three phases. There is place auction tokens, tile auctions, and then the player actions. So first and foremost, let's talk about placing the auction tokens. Whoever has the flag is the first player. They're going to take their number one marker. They're going to put it on the flag and they can place it anywhere along the outer edge or if there are any empty spaces, they can place it in there. That will begin the auction. The first auction is always going to be for the flag. The winner of the auction is going to win not only first player, but also they're going to get one additional action. All right. How the auction takes place itself is once around. So whoever we're going to place the one out, then we're going to go clockwise around the table and Jerry must place somewhere orthogonally adjacent or diagonally adjacent. So in other words, if these were the only spots that were removed, if the flag is here, all seven of these are legitimate bids for Jerry, that he could put his bid marker down saying, we're gonna bid on this. Then it would go to Robert. Robert must be adjacent to the two. And then, there you go. Then Dave would put down his four. Now, me as the first player, whoever had placed the flag also will place the next number, so they get one actual, one additional and could place on any other. So say, for instance, I go here, right? At that point, then we're going to go into the actual auction. Again, it's once around and whoever the auctioneer is, is whosoever marker that is, they are last, they get last licks. So in this case, it's always clockwise and it's once around. A valid bid is one or more and all bids must increase or pass. So in this case, if Jerry wanted to bid two, Robert says, I'm not interested, he passes. And Dave says, you know what? I think it's worth five. It comes back to me and this is the change in the second edition. In the second edition, I can pay one less than Dave's bid to the bank to claim that. So in the first edition, it's one more. They switched it to one less. So the current bid is five. I could pay four to the bank or Dave could pay me five to be able to claim that. And obviously there are no loans in this game. So whatever cash you have on hand is what you have. The cash on hand is the only hidden information within the game. So once this is auctioned, whoever wins it, whether it was me or Dave, they would take one extra action card and then take that, and then we would proceed to the number two auction, proceeding with Jerry being his, so Robert would start, Jerry would be last, so on and so forth until we get through all five. Does that make sense? And the, okay. fl the flag starts around the outside edge, too, if it doesn't have a It spot. will, correct. So at the very beginning of the game, since these are going to be out here, say I put the flag and it must be directly, thank you, directly adjacent to one, so that means these three are where two could start, and then it goes out from there. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions on that? So there's the auction, all right? Then we go into the player actions. So taking a look at the development board, basically that shows all the available actions that you have at your disposal. There are a total of six actions. They are progress on the development board, meaning drop one of your cubes to where it's a better, stronger version of whatever that is, all right? Then the second one is build ships, harvest, tax, or get money, draw expedition cards or go on an expedition, or found a colony. So we'll start at the top. For progressing on the development board, this is really simple. So below each one of these is a spice, and below each of the spices is a ship card. So to say, okay, I'm going to develop, you have to have a spice at your disposal on a plantation, which I'll talk about here in a minute, and you must discard that spice and discard that one ship, and then you would drop that down one. You're only allowed to do one development one time. Does that make sense? So I should also point out that there are a total of three actions per player. So for instance, after the auction is done, whoever's the first player now, so if I was 
the first player, I would begin taking my first action. Maybe if I had, let me give a good example, if I had won this ginger plantation, when you win the auction, you, it actually comes filled with whatever resources or whatever spices that's on there. So it would be here, I begin the first turn, I say I'm going to develop, I want to develop my ships, so it costs one spice and one ship, or one ginger and one ship, so that would go, that would discard back to there, and I would drop that down, boom, done, Jerry, it's your turn. We come back around, it becomes my second action, etc., etc., then my third, then we get into extra actions, which I'll talk about here in a minute. Cool? So that's developing, and it's the same. You'll notice that it increases in cost, so for instance, this ginger and one ship, now it's a ginger and, or a ginger, a cinnamon and two ships, ginger, cinnamon, pepper, three ships, etc., etc. That makes sense? Cool. So that's develop on your, or progress on your development board, development board. Next is build ships, which is what I just showed you. Or check that, no it's not, that's developing, sorry. Building ships, wherever your marker is, draw that many ships. So there's ones and there's threes. So if you're down here, you'd get a total of five. Any mix, again, you can freely make change. It's a currency, okay? Pretty simple. Next is harvest. Harvest, that's how many resources that you can then put on available resource tiles or the colonies or the plantation. So for instance, I only have room for one. Right now I can only harvest one and it shows that it's harvest whatever you can harvest. Well, in this case, I can only harvest ginger, okay? However, if I had Keylon over here, I could harvest pepper or cinnamon as an example. And I'll talk about how you get the, uh, how you get the colonies in a minute. All right. Moving on, taxes, get that amount of cash. Make change however you need, pretty simple. Next, expeditions. So the number on the left is how many cards you can draw. The number on the right is how many cards you can have in hand. So if you'll notice, if you have one card in your hand, the only way you could draw one more is if you discard that card and then you could draw another card. So let's talk about the expedition cards here. So there are a couple of different types. There are A's and then regulars. The regulars are just, you get whatever's on the top part of the card. So in this case, you would get two ships. You could play this before, during, or after one of your actions. That's really important to point out. You can only do it on your action phase. You cannot do it on somebody else's turn. You cannot do it during the auction. It's only during the turns. Make sense? Okay. One card per auction per phase. Correct. The A cards enhance some action. So A meaning action, it's going to then enhance one of them. So for instance, this says, this card, is whenever you take the harvest action, that meaning whenever I say I'm going to harvest resources or harvest spices, now instead of just spices, I can take any mix of ships, colonists, and spices. Okay, so obviously with one, any mix is one of those. Not one of each, it's one total. Whereas if I was down here at six, I could take two colonists, one spice and three ships, something like that. Make sense? And okay. it's a one-off just like the other card. It is, it's when you play it, it's gone, okay? I'll talk about the bottom part of the card when we get to uh, founding a colony, which um, we're gonna do now, Let's all right? Let's do that now. Okay, so founding a colony. This is probably the hardest part of the game and this is by no means hard. So what it is, so each of the different colonies out here have a colonist cost that a minimum cost for each colony or to be able to found it so kilon is six colonists cochin is eight madras is 10 and calicut is 12. so you'll notice that this uh, row or this column sorry is shows that you're increasing how many base colonists you have okay so when you say you want to found a colony the first thing you do is you say which of the four you want, which are up there. Now, the Cochin ones and the Calicut ones are all identical, whereas the Madras and Keylon one have different spices. This has one spice, this has two spices, but your choice of two, okay? So when you say you're going to found or attempt to found one of them, if, say, this is down here, what's going to happen is we're going to draw two cards off the top of the deck, and let's say 
these were the two, and I said I was going to shoot for cochin. So I have a base colonist right now of two. I need to get to eight. Okay. We would draw two cards and only looking at the bottom left-hand corner. These range from one to three colonists. So if I drew these two cards, so that would be three, four, five, six, seven. That's not eight. I need eight. Well, now the cards that are in my hand, I can then discard these to make up the difference. That's eight. Boom. Then I can grab that. That comes over here, and just like any plantation, it comes with whatever spice it says. In this case, I choose, you know what, maybe I want a cinnamon. I throw it on there, boom, good to go. I founded that colony. These are going to be worth points at the end of the game. All right? The other reason that you're going to want to have a larger hand of expedition cards, notice that your hand increases all the way up to five here, is the symbol on the right-hand side on the bottom. There are... I want to say five different symbols. There may be six. Palm tree, fish, there's an elephant, etc., etc. It's a set collection game. Tiger. So if you have them at the end of the game, they increase in value if you didn't spend them during the game. That makes sense? Cool. And it's actually five different symbols. So there we go. That's pretty much the rub of the game. We can go over the tiles individually as they come out. Uh, other than that, I want to go over in-game scoring and a couple other things could point on the development board. If you fail here, if you fail on your foundation, your colonist, you get a card. You get one kiss on the cheek, you get a colonist card as a consolation prize. All right. Also, I should point out, if you were the first one to advance your development down to this level and or this level, you will immediately draw one exhibition... Ex, ex, ugh expedition card easy for me to say and interestingly enough does not behold you to your hand limit so if this were here and i'm only allowed to have three in my hand and i have three and i push this down to this level and i draw another i'm allowed to have a fourth but if i'm going to take this action again i then have to discard down to be able to draw more cards that makes sense Okay, so that's for this level and this level. And then also you'll notice the little A's on the right-hand side. Once all of your progress markers have reached at least that level, so in that case, boom, they're all at least at that level, I immediately get one bonus action card. Okay, nice. which now brings me to the bonus actions. Those are pretty simple. They're extra turns. If you have extra action cards, you can spend them one at a time going around the table as we have done discarding them to take an extra action. You must take extra actions until you get down to one extra action card. Once you have one extra action card, you can hold that if you wish for subsequent turns. Okay? But you can spend it if you wish. All right? So, final scoring, real quick. Here we go. You'll notice the numbers over here on the left-hand side count up those are cumulative so this would if my board ended up like this this would be terrible but that would be one two five eight 14 points total for that okay then we would go into the number of colonies and this is a one three six and ten depending on how many i have then the set collection if you have one symbol if say these three cards are the three that are in my hand one palm tree is worth one point Two identical symbols is worth three, then six, 10, and 15. And I should note that there are only five of each, so you will have had to have gotten every one if you want to get the big boy points, okay? Then, three points for whoever has the most cash left over at the end of the game in their hand. If tied, you split, uh, I'm sorry, you both get the three points. Then, all single plantations, anytime you see the little circle symbol, that's a victory point, so you would get one victory point for all these single plantations that you have, unless you have the foreman, which makes them all three points. And then there's some other stuff that comes out. We have the duty, discard six resources at once, flip the tile over, and that's worth five points if you have won the auction and you have the tile in your area. And then there's a couple mission tiles that are worth two and three points at the end of the game, respectively. And that is Goa. Any questions? Yes. Okay, go for it. Uh, when we start out, we've got two plantation tiles out. Is that right? Or Let me double check. Uh, for the discarding of the tiles, I believe you're allowed up to two. More than two. So you're good to go. So okay. there are 29 A's, 
and there are 29 B tiles. These four were randomly removed. You're allowed to remove up to two plantation tiles. So when we get to the Bs, the other four will get removed. The reason is there is a tile in the B deck, or the B set, that allows you to take, choose one of the eight that were removed from the game and take it. Nice. Well, kind of nice. All right, cool. So that said, let's go ahead and shuffle up the expedition cards. And then uh, instead of, it says on the, this here, seven instead of five. What? Um, the player takes a flag and No, nope, it's five in the rule book. So, okay. all right. I think that's the other edition. That might be the uh, ah, other edition. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, cool. So that's it. Um, we'll randomize turn order. We'll reset that if you shuffle the expedition cards. These somewhere. these spaces are four plantations only. Right, and there's only four limited. You right, if you, if you get more than four, then you are uh, right. Where did this guy come from? Right. There you go. All right. So are you yeah. able to are you able to replace your plantations? You, can. you okay. absolutely can. So you can upgrade. Yep. Um, so we have to randomize turn order. So here. doesn't it go by expedition deck for the tiger? It does. Good call. All right. So starting with the youngest. I have no idea who's the youngest there. I'm not. I know Dave, Dave and I aren't. <laughs> yeah. You're you the youngest. I, I'm the youngest at 43, really. All right, cool. By right, how many years? Yeah. All right, eight years. So we're looking, so we're looking oh, for a tiger symbol. Yeah. Nothing. You just seem older than me. <laughs> I do. Goes to I'm Jerry. Sure. Nope. Robert. Do I do an offense? And all these are, keep going. Nope. There's so that was me. Really? Jerry. We're going to go through the whole damn deck. You told me to shuffle them. I, I shuffle them better, obviously. <laughs> This is amazing. Dave. Where are we at? Dave. Keep going. This you're, is you, Dave. you're in you. Oh. Me? There all you right, go. there we go. So I'm the first player. So all these are out for right now. We'll shuffle them up if we run wow. out of the deck, whatever. That's a lot. <laughs> if. So the start player starts with five ducats and the flag. Yes, I did bring a flag. And ten ducats for everybody else. The money is hidden. So that's the last time you guys will see that and anybody else. I'm of <laughs> the mind, it, the rules don't call it out, that... Look, you know I have one card. How many card? How many cards do you have? I have four cards. Obviously, that could be from four to forty. So, all right, that's it. So, any questions for the piano gallery? I suppose I had to bring chat and everything else up. Hey, what's up, y'all? All right. All right. Cool. Oh, I got my ship back. Thank you. Somebody reminded me. So okay, it? cool. Thank you. All right, good looking out. Place your bets, y'all. Um, full disclosure, all of us have played. You've only played this once. Yeah. Right? You've played this once. I played it a bunch. And back I came in, in last. Just, just <laughs> full disclosure. Some, some I've played it a bunch, but most recently, we uh, the three of us played it on Saturday. And you played it a handful of times. Barely, yeah. All right, and it's your first My first play. game. All right, so there you go. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, fine. I'll reset my tracks. Fine. Obviously, Omer is not not uh, voting or betting on me. Obviously, Edward was looking at bad teacher today. Right. I was trying to cheat. <laughs> I did win on Saturday, but I don't know if how well this is going to go. All right. So we begin. So everyone has their cash, and here we go. So for the flag. So what I'm looking at is where I want this to end up where I want to be able to put the five. Now, obviously, I don't know where you guys are going to place your bids. You want to make it weak for the rest of us, too, and start somewhere right. not important for um, me. You know, I'm, I'm good with right here. So that's where we will begin, and now Jerry has a choice of those three tiles as well. All right? Let's get that to one. Okay. And Robert has a choice of those three. And remember, it's only adjacent, orthogonally, and diagonally from the most recent auction. It's not from this one. The flag's got to start orthogonally adjacent. To Homer you. says, I, I, I'm wrong. Absolutely betting on me. I appreciate the vote of confidence. He's like, you know what? He doesn't even need to cheat. <laughs> right. <laughs> Banker Spice. I like that. By the way, that worked out really, really well, because I ended up being able to go where I wanted to go. So the question, here, here's the first real debate I have, right, is do I want to put it on a tile that I really want that I'm going to have to pay for, or is it something I want to not, that I don't want, but I think you guys will and will be able to pay a lot of money for? Yeah. 
I think we'll go there. Well, All and, right. and is your five bucks going to still be around? And but I, the advantage is... Unless you buy that. Right? Or if I let you guys pay for it, right. right, for the first player. So first player and an extra action. Don't forget, that's what you're bidding for, starting with Jerry. Remember, it's once a round, all right? That's worth three bucks to me. Oof. I'll pass. Wow. That's, so right now I'm paying two ducats to be first in the extra action. Two bucks. Two yes. ducats. Two ducats it is. Fine. So I will pay two because it's one less than what Jerry bid. So there's my change. So I will take that. You guys didn't help much there. No, they really didn't. <laughs> so I'll keep my extra actions right there. So we're on to two. So Go it's your it. bid. It's four, two pepper. Welcome to everybody as well as our mods. So Tony, Jess, glad you all could join us. Two. It's good pepper. It's worth burning two. No, I don't want it. Wow. <laughs> See, and Dave remembers he got totally neutered early because he st he didn't get any spices. Right. So I, th I, you think he remembers? Maybe that. Yeah. Maybe he's old. Yeah. There, yeah. Is <laughs> there is that. There is that. There's a seventies and sixties. Bottle wine in between. Right. I mean, you know. <laughs> Besides the pot, I mean, <laughs> hey, it's Colorado, yeah. right? Uh, three. I elect to not take part in this auction. Really? So it's yours for two, a double pepper. So I guess that's the important thing to talk about too. Is just that you look down the column of what you want to build. So if I want to focus on cash, pepper is good for me. Right. All right. So two. Yep. That's two. Wow! All that money leaving, leaving the game. All right, grab your two pepper. Oh, yeah. And we're on to three. So Robert uh, is last. So Dave, you're up. So that's either three ships or three people. Yep. Three is a good number. I elect to not take part in this auction. Being broke sucks. Just FYI. I really shouldn't have. I'm, it just upsets me that you guys... Two. Two? Really? Or three bucks for the uh, first player marker? I'll do f what was that? Three. I'll do four. No, David, he will not. Not to my knowledge. I'll take it for three. All right. It's, it's throwing all the money away, aren't we? Right? It's going to be a very austere game. It is. So you uh, choose. Um, you take it immediately, and that goes into the discard. So which do you want? Three ships or three colonists, both of which are useful? One or the other. Um, correct. No I mixing. will take three ships. All right. Go for it. Actually, hold on. Let me do three. Yeah, I need that. So. Okay. And now this is for one ship every turn or every round, so which means eight ships worth. You get to start. I, I like to start the bidding at three. There's no way that works, but three. I'll do four. I'll do five. So it's yours for four, Dave, or pay, pay the man his money. I'll take it. All right, for four. It's funny how this Everybody is Everybody has... Wow. This is a bit different it, it than is. the last game. Yeah. All right. No one's landed in this game with any stacks of high society. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So this is four ships. And you guys remember how important ships were to be able to advance because these are worth a lot of points at the end of the game. You're just selling Step no. right. You betcha. Uh, Step uh, right up. Six. That's a solid. I appreciate the solidness I'm glad to of, help your, you. of your bid. Yeah, way to be a team I'm player. Investing in your company. <laughs> Damn, I'll pass. I'm also passing. I will take it for six, or I will allow you to take it for six. Yeah, and I like you had any <laughs> choice of that matter. There you go. All right, and I get four ships. Thanks, Dave. And there you go. I guess we could here, so folks can see the discards. That's fine. All right, so that is the end of the auction. So we start with the first player with the first turn, first uh, actions. So this did not work really, really well, just FYI. Um, so I have ships, but I have no spices. So I have no spices, which means I cannot develop. Uh, well, I'll start with an ex expedition card. So I'll show folks there. So what this one says um, no one here is listening, so don't worry, is I can advance on a, any development track by using just ships and not having to discard spices. That actually comes in pretty handy That's considering. That's a pretty good one, yeah. Just saying. 
All so right. I met, I drew one, I met my hand limit, that's it. It does that actually take an action or does it? It does. It, okay. it actually is an A card as okay. well. So I would have to say I'm developing and that's how I So if it didn't it. have the A, it actually would be a free ap a free action. But right. yes, but there aren't any like that. But yes, that's okay. exactly it. So one per turn. Right. All right. So I'm gonna do progress. Okay. Called. So there's my pepper. Okay. There's and my ship. ship. And then I'm moving down the cash tax deck. All right. Tax track. Cool, Robert. Uh, I am also going to do the expedition. Okay. All right. Dave? I'm going to go cash, so I need four. Okay, so he's taxing, so four is what he's at. And now we go into the second. And... I could... Hmm. Do I use it or do I save it? It's also an elephant. So there's that. You guys didn't hear that. Um, so I can't uh, develop. I could take the top. You know what? I'll go ahead and take the four bucks, the four ducats to start there. I'm not going to be broke going into an auction again. I'll tax and take six. Okay. Please. Thank you. And Robert? That's the same one. Hold on. That's the same one you got, right? It is, actually. Okay. Good draw. Um, so I will take that action. And I should point out that all the cards, all the expedition cards are laid out in the rule book right there. Ah. Okay. All right. So I will take that action, uh, and I will move him down. And it costs one ship, and you discard the expedition. Boom, done. And our discard is there. You there. Go. And, and discard for ships is the ship pile. There you go. All right, Dave. Speaking of the ship pile, I'm going to flip this <laughs> over and tank one. <laughs> As I got to do that. You didn't say thing. ship pile, right? <laughs> ship, ship pile. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's that southern <laughs> call. Right? So. <laughs> and I'm doing the expedition. All right. Um, so we're into the third one. You know what? Okay. So, hold on. You did... You, what did you do for your actual action? Oh, you, you div right. That's yep. it. All right. Expedition so then here you go. So I'm developed. going to do similar. I'm going to drop that down as well. That's going to cost me one ship. There and there. Done. Jerry? I'm going to gamble and do the expedition. All right. So which one are you going for? Kelon? Yeah. So you need six colonists. You have zero on your board. Mm -hmm. You have two in hand, which means you need a total of four or higher. So we draw two off the top. There's one. So if the next one's not a three, you get a colonist. Yeah. Oh, snap. So there's oh. four. And I don't recall if you mentioned that, but the colonists do go only from one to three. Right. Yep. There Five, two. six. And now you get your choice of any of those, which are a mix of two spices. And Robert, I that's am exactly doing what the you same. were going to do. Yeah. Right? Yep. So let's see which one he chooses, and I'll choose. Uh, oh, James, that totally could happen. A glory to rum stream of this. And thank you, Tony. That was a terrible... Uh, John Malkovich, but I, I did the best I could on the spot. All right, so first of all, I'm going to try to win it. I'll let you do it. Yeah. Well, so first see. you got to see if you win yeah, it. Yeah, let's see yeah. if you win it. So there's a two. two, and a two is four, and two more is six. So you don't even have to spend any of the yeah. colonists out of your hand. Yeah. And it comes with the spice, don't forget, and right. yours does as well. I'm going to do. It wasn't a question of whether I was going to win it. It was a question of whether I was going to have to spend or not. Correct. <laughs> all right, Dave. Final action. Yeah. For all but Edward. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it, Brian. That's awesome. Fair enough, Tony. Yeah, why, why is it? I do the same thing. Every time you've got a stream coming up, I always go and dig for old streams before your stream. I, I appreciate it very much. Um, I don't know why, but I think that's awesome. Please continue doing so. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, that is an investment of time. Tax Lord. again. All right, so that's what, four? four? So I'll give you one. Yep. Thanks. All right, so now we are into the extra actions. The only players that have extra actions 
me. So I choose. I do not have to. I can keep this if I wish. However, hmm. Mm. Let me see what's left. And so those are the three, and we'll keep them out like that since that seems to be what everyone's going for. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So what one is not left? The cinnamon is the only one that's not left, which is one of the ones I would really, really like. Uh, I don't mind the ginger, and there's only one. I will. I will go ahead and spend my extra action, and I'm going to do the exact same. So I'm going for Keylon, so I'm at two. Go ahead and flip, Dave. A three. All right, so we got it. Wow, and that's seven. I, right. I should have. All right. So anyway, I got it. So I will take that, and I will take a ginger, please. Not to be confused with the redhead. Or stepchild, for that matter. All right, cool. Done. Um, so that's the end of the actions. Boom, done. So... Clear these, right? Yeah. So these clear off. This flips to show that we are... It'll be on the B, so we're up to A2. So we begin with the first player. New auction. And now, not only around the outside here, but the also... also... Right. And... Hmm. Yeah, let's have some fun. Okay, done. So this one, just to explain, you have to throw away six at the end of the game for fun. No, points. six at any one time in one oh. action. So when you win this tile, it'll hang out over here in your tableau. At any point in time, if you discard six spices from any mix of plantations and colonies, you can flip it over and you get five points at the end of the game. If you don't do it, well, you should plan better. Oh, so it was an action. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. Yep. You got tons of time to do it. I mean, we're only the second round here. All right, we're gonna go over there. Just to give you more choices. Like three. Yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Sorry. You should tell me. I would I would prefer the cinnamon. I will pay a minimum of two per plantation. Yeah. That's four Ooh. cinnamon. That's four bucks in your that, pocket. That, that is four ducats burning a hole in your pocket right now. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rely on that. I'll do okay. the cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> Dave? All right, take care, Marlon. Thanks for hanging. See you next month. Ooh. Really? Wow. Really? I remember last game. So there is, there is something else that I want to point out. Just indulge me on the what if. If we had done something like that and Dave left me with no legal auction area, in that case, I could choose... Any tile. tile. Okay. He left and, you with one. And if there are people or after two, you, actually, start, yeah, start yeah, and then it starts ginger. off of where that went. Yeah, right, I know. Right. Ginger or ginger. Yeah. Um, An unappealing ginger? <laughs> well, it's worth a point, though. There is that. That's true. Okay, That's there true. is that. So, we begin the auction with the flag. Yes, I brought a flag. So, Jerry, early and often. Four bucks. I actually... I actually do five bucks. I like that. You're not going to let him do that, are you, Robert? Five for first player. You know what? I, I kind of am. I'm going to let him do that. <laughs> okay. Pass. The extra action's awfully nice. We look at how much goes on. Yeah. I'll take the five. Plus, not only am I taking the five, I'm keeping you from having five bucks or five ducats at your disposal now. Great. So, all right. So, Robert. So Five. Two, two extra actions, all right. Six. Yeah. Helping you get paid back. Nice, good job. Seven. Now, just to be fair, I'd like that, but because it'd be 12 bucks for me, but I'll right. take your seven because I'm a nice guy. I'm a team all right. player. All right. <laughs> so there's that. And I'll take the two actions, please. Thank you. Cinnamon. Six. Ooh, that's a strong bid. Um, I'll go seven. Yeah, 
it's kind of burning off. I'll go eight. I'll take your eight. Oh, how the worm has turned. All right, there, and two cinnamon. Thank you. And I start the bidding on pepper. And pepper is good for ducats, huh? Um, yeah, and other things. The whole left side of the board. Right. Seven feels like the right number. Yeah, uh, seven feels good to me. Feels Deep good to me, inside. too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Good pass. Oh, thank you. Good catch, Omar. Appreciate it. Yep, because key line should go on. Key line. Yep. I think I go eight. Wow. I thought my seven might take it. Nope. Apparently it wasn't. Dave's taking his own. Wow. Wow. I really thought Let me seven reiterate. Wow. <laughs> two, two peppers. I thought, I thought eight guaranteed it for me. <laughs> I, I liked your chances. Um, okay. I didn't so. notice that the pepper does. There's some that are more spots than others. Like white, white and cinnamon. I'd it's kind of cool. Yeah. And so figures all the same. Ginger, cherry. Ooh, let's pass on that one. Seven. It's a strong bid. I appreciate the seven. I'm not saying I'm gonna not take it for six, but I appreciate that. I'll Myth. pass. Mm. Made that decision harder for you, though. You did. You do have to think. And I get a lot of, a lot of ginger now. And I also have clove. I'll take it for six. Damn. All right, two ginger, please. That's Slice the first one. Yep. Thank you. Whoa. Just set that anywhere. That's good. No worries. Okay, cool. And that's why we don't put it on the table. Right. Exactly. All right, so who good, got the... Good, good, good. There you go. Really a good example. Right, of, se of, se of selling the table and why having drink holders off the table is really <laughs> or good. Or on the floor if you don't have this right. nice table. All right, so Jerry, your first player. Which yeah. model is this, by the way? Huh? Which model is uh, this? This is actually one of the custom ones that they do. It's okay. not the Dutch. It's not off the shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Dutch is a little smaller, I think. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade... Six foot by f uh, six foot by four foot, here, actually, including the armrest. The play and area, though, is 42 inches. You know they got a new version coming out. They do. Looking forward to that. I'm probably getting to get it. Nice. Nice. Yep. All right, so you did yours. Um, I am going to... Um, what did you do? Progress okay. the gotcha. production. Oh, this should be down here. Sorry. Yep. Uh, I'm going to expedition. Okay. And you're still at one card. Yep. All right, Dave. I'm going to progress here and there, and I'm not doing a ship. I'm just flipping this one over. Okay. All right. Um, for me, so I have to be able to... Yeah, that actually works out perfect. So I'm going to progress, develop down here. So that's going to take a ship and a ginger. So the ginger there and two. What's up? The book. Oh yeah, rule book. You grab it. There you go. All right. Oops. All right. Oh, so we're on to two. Jerry, you're up. I am gonna do progress again for a red and green, and two ships. And Bobby, when you're done. Okay, I am going to um, do progress for this. So it's a. About my three. It's yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care about your own tableau. I care about the stuff for the, for the folks at home. Two back. You're a monster, Dave. <laughs> You're an absolute <laughs> monster. One. I just uh, have fun. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's like, is this enjoyable right, to you? Yeah. Okay. Right, um, so that won't be used today. I'm going to play this card. Okay. And it takes an action. All right, so this one is instead of spices and ships, you pay cash to develop, and what level you're developing to is how much it costs. You can only develop once still. So going down to the second level is six ducats. There's seven. Cool. All right, uh, so for my second action, I'm actually, it makes me throw up a little, but I'm going to harvest. I'm going to harvest the clove because it's clove or ginger. Done. All right, round three. I'm going to take eight dollars for taxing. Oof. Thank you. 
They're not having babies. And they can't hold any more than once, <laughs> one either, yeah. right? So this is not only the storage, but how many you get. Correct. Right. It's it's what and how many. Just Correct. Confirm. That's why the twos, and there are threes in the Bs. Oh, nice. Okay. In the Bs. Um, I am going to um, get some cash. So, Oh, actually, yeah, no, I'm going to get some cash. All so right, four, four ducats, ducats for me. Do you have a single? I do have a single. Look at that. All right, cool. How odd that I would have a single. Welcome, Rob. Glad you can make it. Enjoy the chip, monkey. Meaning he's going back to the beginning, watching it at like one and a half speed, and I sound like a huge chipmunk. <laughs> nice. So. Hey, if you can't do two speed. You. <laughs> All right, Dave. Uh, I'm also going to do this. So I get six bucks. All right, six taxing. ducats. All right. And appreciate that, Omer. It's still crazy to me that people are around the world watching this. Like, he's in Israel. Watch it. That's amazing to me. It's really it cool. It never gets old, man. Ever, ever, ever. That's super cool. All right. So I am going to develop again. So this is a clove and a ginger and two ships. So two ships, clove and ginger. Done. All right. We are going into extra action, starting with Jerry. Do you wish to? You do not have to because you're at one. I want to tax again. Okay. I need some cash. Yeah, he, he learned a lesson from the last game. Don't be broke going <laughs> right. into auctions. Yeah, two, three bucks just doesn't cut it. No. Yeah, three painful. bucks does not cut it. You, yeah. just, you, you pass, just sit there and pass Waste a the whole turn of your life away. Yeah, I'm passing this. Uh, Bobby, no extra actions? Dave? I don't either. All right, I must because I have more than one. So I am going to go with... Let's see. I think... Cinnamon is the most sense. So I have four, five, six. I'm gonna I'm gonna get greedy and I'm gonna try and colonize Madras. Alright, so I'm at four. I have two, so I need a total of four. That's a good that's a good yeah, start. That, that makes me feel pretty good. So there's five, nine, that makes ten for Madras. And this is going to be Cinnamon and pepper. So, do you want also? Uh, yeah, please. Um, yeah, I'm good with that. I'll take. Uh, I think. Hmm. You know what? Let me have two cinnamon actually instead. Thank you. Yep. That's an agonizing decision. Yeah, that was an action. That was. So it then goes back around the table. All you guys pass. Comes back to me. Do I want? To take the extra action. And who's first? Me. So this is another uh, thing to keep in mind, is the fact that you're first means I'm auctioning fourth, which means I don't have a chance to get any cash until the fourth auction. So I paid seven for the two extra actions, which is three and a half. I'll get the four bucks. And I deprived you guys from getting it. So I'll pay one. There we go. I hate doing that because it feels like a wasted action, but I have to for the auction. So that's done. I got it. Go ahead if you want to start placing. Hmm. Cool. Dang, where do I want to end up? the question what indicates the ship uh, cost for developing Morton is underneath every spice is a ship card so it's what sh uh, spices are specified there as well as one extra ship I think we'll there start you go. There. hopefully that answers that okay so yes yeah, so we flip all the oh yeah all the red tiles flip back up those are one-time use per round so all right. are they are they in action though no, no, they are not. They okay. are. That's what I was thinking. Yep. That's not action. All right. So yeah, they're very nice. Any time during that whole round, you can flip it. Yep. Yeah. Or turn. During yeah, during these actions only. Yeah. Yeah, and you can even use it to pay your costs, like I did. Right. Well, we saw how well that worked. All right. Uh, that's a colonist each round, huh? Yep. And the expedition tile, if I choose to go this route for the auction, that does not count again, or it you can go above your hand limit on that. Right. Okay. 
So, for instance, Bobby has one already. He's only allowed one. You could just still draw the two. And... Hmm. You know what? I don't want you guys to get more resources. I'm good with that. That's good. All right. And Jerry. Five for first player. All right. That's coming strong. There we go. Robert, uh, tired to not have an extra action? <laughs> I, I, I agree. That's a very strong bid. I'm passing. Uh, I concur. Yeah. It's worth eight for me, so I'll do four. And Daddy Warbucks over here. <laughs> which means I'm last again. Which right, sucks. Dave. Those are nice to have. Hey, Ollie. Welcome. And welcome all the new folks. I'll exactly. Go four. For the nutmeg? Mm hmm. I like to not take part in this auction. And yes, Jess, Worldwide Equal Opportunity Gaming. Try and mix up the stream times. And we're doing a good job of that this week. 11 a.m. now, 7 p.m. local time uh, on Thursday, and then Michael and I are doing 2 p.m. on Saturday for how long. So, cool. cool. I'm just happy I'm going to be gone. Right, you'll be on vacation up to your cabin. Up to my cabin, I happen. I'll do five. Just do not spend I'll pay four time. for it. Wow, this is so different than our last <laughs> game. So it's interesting. So uh, Christopher, um, apparently Christopher's played the first edition because he was like the change in rules here between the uh, pay one more, pay one less. Our, to be clear, our last game, a lot of people were not buying their own auctions. We were paying a lot mm -hmm. more. The values were higher. So they change group dependent, well, player it gives, dependent. It cash in the game. It too. does, it right? So you then things make more money. And, yeah, everything's so. more. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So this is for a colonist. One colonist every, every turn. Okay. Man, whoever gets that, it's going to go down here. Yeah, it's only six more left. Um, I'll go five. Only six. I'll go five. Oh, I got cash. Middle we'll spender, right? Um, can't take it with you. Seven. Pass. Wow. I can't, can't even spend my money. <laughs> no, right? You're going to have to spend it a lot harder. <laughs> right. Is what that means. Like you said. I can't yeah. give it away. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, wow. So, two expeditions. That's free points right there. Think hard, Jerry. All right, Omer says the chat has spoken. Heavy cardboard should stream at these hours only. No Americans objected. <laughs> Seven bucks. Should have gone eight. Okay. Should have gone eight. You can go eight. Just saying. Should have gone eight. You know. I've got two numbers in my head, and neither one of them are either of those. <laughs> okay, well, so ten? Dave. Yeah, right. yeah, ten it is. Really? Yep. I, I support this move. <laughs> I support I this know, move I was talking a lot. Into it, though. Like I you said, weren't. eight was a better bid. <laughs> Ten's better. I'm passing. <laughs> yeah. um, you bid, hold on, ten. don't look at the screen. You bid ten. I accept your bid. Okay. <laughs> Gladly. All right. So there, and take your two expedition cards. Thank you. All right. Hey, Friday, welcome. Can't have free actions. The expeditions are the next best thing. All right. What's up, Matthias? And your Dennis, first for the uh, key all two clubs. Right. Awesome. Robert. All right. I don't understand that one. There you go. Um, there. Cool. And what did you do for your first turn? Uh, we didn't go yet. Oh, I'm sorry. We're, um, yeah, we, we still have the five. You're right. So this is uh, double clove. Five. Pass. Hmm. Double clove. And that would be an extra right there. I'll go ten. I was going to say five is a little low. <laughs> ten might make me carry over some of my cash till next turn. I'm okay either way, actually, because the free resources are delicious. I love spice. He who controls the spice controls India and Portugal, apparently. But you're already two in. Um, I don't uh, mind making you spend some of your money, and I don't mind. I feel like that's fair market value for so the clubs. It co cost me a turn to get eight. So what's better? Uh, 
I'll spend nine. Okay. I'm um, actually, I prefer that, right. honestly. Well, because this is down for you already. Right. But I do need cloves for those as well. So I just wanted it for four, not for... Nine. I know, and uh, <laughs> I was going to bid you up, but I felt like I was okay with that cost as well. All right. There you go. Sorry. Right. There. All right. So now you begin, sir. All right. Well, that changes it. What do I want to do? <laughs> hey, Jason. Welcome. So uh, for those of you all that have not played Goa, are you able to follow along? Is it making sense now that we're halfway, well, we're a quarter of the way through the game just about now? I'm going to upgrade. And for those of you all that have played it, um, have you played the second edition here of this one? I'm upgrading that with that. There you go. That was number one. All right. Robert? Uh, I'm going to colonize. Uh, Go or attempt to. Cochin. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm going to attempt Koki, to colonize. Koki, Koki. Cochin. Cochin. Two, Cochin. Two, I'm not four. sure. So you're at two right now with I'm base. I'm at two right there. Okay. Okay. That'd be four. 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 Five, six, seven. So one more, and boom. And it doesn't matter which one because they're right. all wilds. And so I can choose whatever I want to put on it. You are correct, sir. I'm also going to colonize, but I'm going to do this one first. Keylon, what are you at? Two? Go ahead. Four. And three. Yeah, There you go. Uh, the same. Okay. And you want cinnamon? Yes, please. There you go. All right. Uh... All right. I had a plan. Yes, I will go ahead and build ships. So, two ships. Done. And we're into the second. Okay. What was I going to do? Oh, green. I am going to produce goods. So, I'm taking a green. So, two of them. And since this is really the first time you have to be able to you can only produce what you can hold right and what it shows so obviously you can't put a pepper down on kilon right because i would like another ginger but i can't hold it right so red there and a red there all, all right. right i'm gonna produce also just the one ginger all right dave i'm gonna develop I'm going to go here, there's my cinnamon, and I'll flip my ship, and I will also take an extra colonist. All right. So now that I have my ships, I had a plan. Right. I am going to develop, so that's going to be a ginger and a cinnamon, and two ships, the two that I just got, and done. Okay, round three. I'm going to upgrade or develop. Hey, Vince. Develop. Welcome. Green, red, black, and three ships. Wow. And since I hit the line, I get one of those. You get expedition, and it doesn't matter about your hand limit for that. So it's important to note, if anybody else makes it down here, you do not get the free expedition because he was the first. Right? And these, like filling lines, is everybody the, will get. Right. right. Perfect. Well, as you reach it, I should say. Right. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and develop with no ships oh. necessary. Hey, Rolf. See you Wednesday. So I'm just going to develop there with the resources. Cool. And Dave. I'm taxing for six. Okay. Um, that's as far as my plan had made it. I don't know at this point. I'm at five. Yeah, I could basically guarantee myself the free resource. And I don't really have a whole lot good to do right now. That's not true. I guess three ships, pretty strong, which I would need three ships to continue to develop that down. I'm going to need it for that. That doesn't feel really good to me. So I'm thinking either get three ships. I could take an expedition card. No. So it's either Cochin or Cochin or three ships. 
and I'm looking at the board. There's no ships out here. I suppose there's one available there, but, you know, and I have a chance at getting more resources. I feel pretty good about that, so I th think I'm going to go ahead and take the three ships. Done. And we go into the extra action, starting with Jerry. I'm going to spend mine for $10. And two fives. Before I forget, I'm going to spend this also for two colonists, please. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, don't forget, like and subscribe. It helps the show. Also, don't forget, down in the bottom, other way, that way, um, pledgehc.com if you want to support the show. Really appreciate it, y'all. All right, so any other extra actions? Uh, I have none. Okay, so we're done. So we are now three-fourths of the way through the first half of the game. So starting with the first player, don't forget to flip over your red tiles, guys. And by guys, I mean Dave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's kind of nice. See, Ollie, I think that's really interesting. You said auctions seem to be the most hated mechanic in gaming to me. I personally love it, but I know a lot of people shy away from auctions and bidding. It's obviously group dependent, but everybody that I have just about encountered just about within our gaming group here in Northeast Denver all like auctions, it seems. Yeah. But that also kind of leads into economic games in general and stuff like that. That's so. pretty sucky. Well, place to place. Not Here, I'll, I'll help you out. There you okay. go. Makes there it much you easier. You, you oh, still yeah. have choices. I can go back down, yeah. All right. So now for me. So who has single plantations? Does anybody? Only Robert. I learned my last in the last... The first game I played. So you have access to cinnamon. And the reason you you're saying that is because this right. one is valuable to somebody if they had a lot, but it's not that valuable. So I should also so point out... Extra three points if you have... No, it's three. it turns those plantations that you have right there, that one, anyone that's a one, it's now three points each. Oh, wow. And there's none in this deck. There's not. So in other words, it's worth three points for you yeah. and you only. So... That makes that decision easy because all the other tiles will go away at the end of this. Okay. Gotcha. And now we're up to five. Some money maker out there, Jerry. Boats and action. Just go with fun with two people. I've never played it. All right. First. So you're bidding for first. Um. Uh, I'll try the same thing I did before. Five. I'm passing. How much? I'll go seven. You could have told me that first. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, but it didn't seem appropriate for some reason. I'll take it. Wow, really? For yeah. seven? No, I should not have done eight. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was only valuable to him um, last turn. <laughs> there and oh, that glorious extra action. I there we go. Cool. Right. All right. All right. Dave for what is that again? Ginger. Ginger. Yeah. Double ginger. Six. Nah, I'm all set. I got one. Thanks. Eight. I'll take your eight. Do you make change? No. No. That's fine. I feel like that was like a humble brag right there. Can you make change for this? <laughs> oh. can, can you break this? I'm sorry. I gotta make my own hash sheet seven. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget your gingers as well. All right. So we are now me. So double nutmeg. And nutmeg is good mostly through here. I've got no room for that. So I'll pass. Oh, it's me. In, in the oh. game, in the game of go, oh, we go. I thought you said you. <laughs> I thought it was yours. No, okay. I just, uh, well, I'm going big, so yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eight. Pass. That feels like a pretty solid bid. 
Eight is always a good bet. Yeah, I think eight's a solid number. I'm not saying it's enough. I'm saying it's 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 enough to consider. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a conversation fun. going. Yes, yes, exactly. Right. It's not insulted. <laughs> right. right. Let's see. He passed on that. And All I right. passed. Take care, Ward. All right. Take oh. care, Kilted. Seventh year is deep. I'll take it. Ah. Hold on. How many money cards do you have left? None. Oh, <laughs> One more ducket. Yeah. All right. All right. Starting with... Oh, uh, pass. I should have spent more on the first player. And by the way, I will get this for free if everybody passes or bids one. Think of that, Robert. Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's worth a point to you at the end. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Not too much, though. I mean, it's a point for whoever gets it. It's a guaranteed point. What were our scores last time? 30-ish? Uh, you know what? I have it in the office, but I want to say yeah. it was upper 20s and, and mid-30s, I think. A bit so three. So you don't score a lot of points. So it's me for two, huh? Yeah. yeah. And it's a free cinnamon for two? And a point? Boy, you guys are just doing if the you game. keep it. Uh, yeah, we're good. Good with that. I think if you throw that away, you still keep the point, right? If I remember correctly. Yes. If if uh, oh, if, if, if I end up it. filling it and replacing it, you flip the one over because you still get the point. I did not understand that. Okay. So. I don't think we told you. Hold to on. Do you want to rebid? Cheated. No. Do you want to rebid? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Now I feel bad. I, there's a small possibility, but I got cinnamon available there. So okay. good. All right. All right. So now this one is one ship, one colonist, and an extra action. All right. 10, 12. <laughs> I have no money. 12? No, it's no, 10. 10. 10. Oh. He's broke. <laughs> it's 10. I, I like to not take part in this bid. Good. I'm glad you didn't because I didn't want to take it for nine. Yeah. All right. So a ship, a colonist. And if you can grab an action for him. Yeah. All right, so yeah, these, are got, now, these are now these are now essentially <laughs> gone. Good man. Okay. All right. So, so you're first. first. Yep, I'm first. Uh, those are not available from they, the card here. Oh, well, yeah. that's right. Just these. Correct. That's right. So, um, really would have liked that nutmeg. So let's see. I have ships, and getting more resources is going to be important. Getting colonists is really need nutmeg. All right, so let's let's go ahead and get some nutmeg, right? So coach in. So I'm at four, which means this is going to be an automatic win. That that's seven. You shuffle, draw whatever it is. Doesn't matter. It's enough. So I'll get that and I'll take a nutmeg, please. That's done. Yep. Thank you. Okay, I'm upgrading my shipping with that. And that. Good discussion about auctions going on in the peanut gallery. What did I draw? A two? A two. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that was just FYI, that was five, nine, ten. It wouldn't have been enough. Just You'd have gotten our card. Huh? You got the bonus for next turn though. Just keep trying it. <laughs> All right. So what'd you do? I upgraded okay. the shipping. I'm going to try to colonize. Which one? Madras. Madras. So that's 10. You're at four. Yep. Five. Not going to happen. Six, seven. All right. That would give you eight. Nope. Failed. So you get a colonist. All, All right. right. Dave? That's what I was hoping for. I'm going to come down here I I could have for run this, six. this, I and two shifts. So I'll flip one of these and pay the other one. And I might as well get my call on this one, thinking of it. Okay, well, I did that for a reason. So, hmm. I have an extra action, so I'll do that. So I'm going to develop first. So that's going to be a cinnamon. We'll go, ahead and go there. And a ship. Done. Oh, so that's that was two. number two. Thank you. Yep. So I'll just take two ships, please. Thank you. 
I will try to colonize again. Madras. All right. Oh, yeah, you can. Do three, come on, thing. another three. There we go. Didn't cost me anything. All right. All right, so while he's thinking about that, Dave? I'm going to colonize here. Cochin, which is an eight, yes. so you have two. Four. Six. Seven, eight. Yep. And which resource do you want? Uh, I would like to have... Mm. One action short. The white. No, is that uh, ginger. Name? Ginger. Um. Hmm. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and develop for the nutmeg. Dropping that down. Done. All right, so I am going to do that. That. Two ships to upgrade my shipping. And Bobby? I am going to... Oh, I can't upgrade that one. Where is it? Upgrade that one. I'll take eight dollars in tax myself, so that I'm not broke. Speaking of which, okay. Um, all right. So we're into extra actions. I'm debating whether or not to take it. So my options right now, realistically, are harvest for two resources or take three ships or draw one expedition and mm. I elect not to take my extra action right now so I pass Jerry mm. because I have one I'm allowed to pass I'm gonna use mine for ten bucks okay there you go five nine ten and Robert? No extractions. Neither do I. All right, so that is the end of the A's. So we flip this, we throw those out, and you, four of them randomly you wanna, are. There you go, Dave, if you want to throw some out. Please have it face right for the camera, though. Pretty please with sugar on top. Give me more. I don't like those three. To throw out. What? Pick, pick two. There you go. There you go. I'll throw these out. There you go. Alright, so the four that are out of the game are the Nutmeg, a free three harvest, uh, a resupply, a one time of you draw and whatever the number is down here, you get that number of uh, stuff, yeah, of things of your choice. And this one is for the favor, this is where those eight would be in play. Alas, that's out of the game, randomly chosen. So there we go. And that bottom one, the, the random draw is every one just one kind right correct to say last time uh all right so what do we have here so the vice king one develop free period that's pretty lucrative um other than that i think the rest are all pretty self uh the swap that allows you to and let me let me get the verbiage correct on this so the swap tile simple victory points there is during one of your later action turns, you take one tile of your choice from the board and put it face up in your play area and you replace the swap, which means the swap could then be auctioned again. Oh, in espionage also is you basically look at somebody's board and if somebody wants to use my four colonists, basically you get a one-time use of the whatever it is you're trying and that's for. That's the espionage. Right there. I don't okay. know if we talked about the dark blue, but dark blue, you can ping any time. It's not right when you get it. Correct. It's... Because they're final scoring items. No. Or dark blue, dark blue, yes. Yeah. These three are whenever you want to use them, not 
Yep. Immediately. So I am the first player now. All right. Real quick, as espionage in place of your using your own? Or yes. Is it, okay. So if you wanted to take the develop action, right? Uh, or I'm sorry, the uh, the colonist action, bad example. Or if, if Jerry or Dave did, they, and we you or I were at five, they say, okay, I'm going to use your five. As gotcha. Um, <clears throat> hmm, I really would have liked that free resource filling. Yep. I'm good with that. All right. <laughs> Brian says all this talk about cinnamon and ginger reminds me of the days in the club scene in Florida. That's funny. All right. I'll give everybody lots of choices. I, I dig that. I like where your head's at. Okay, well, there's that. I love every one of my options, honestly. Uh, I could make a case for the extra, because again, no hand limit, right? And don't forget the set collection points at the end of the game. Um, a whole bunch of ships, because from the looks of it, y'all ain't developing ships a whole lot. Then there's the extra actions, always lucrative. You know what? You're going to pay me for it. All right. First player in an extra action, fellas. What's it going to be? Jerry? Seven. Eight. Pass. Thank you, sir. Cloves to you. Three cloves. Triple clove. Yeah. And sitting near plantations, they're looking pretty sparse. That's a five. Five. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> That's not even worth the paper. I wasn't going to bid on it, but I figure I'll uh, get it going. Get it up there. Yeah. No, well, no, I just figured I'd insult him. <laughs> That's what I figured. Six. Wow, I didn't. Um, so... Because I'll take a refill if, if it's five bucks. It's not going to be. <laughs> um, current bid six. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to go eight. That is so cheap. <laughs> I'll take your eight. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yeah. I need the money for later on down the road. Yep, I figured you did. Three, uh, three clove, please. College savings plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're up to three colonists or three ships. Uh, starting with Dave. Pass. bid wrong because that was a really quick 10 that's number in my head uh, I, was it? I will right. take three ships please okay uh, okay uh, guys this can free develop I'll do 10 that's pretty cheap <laughs> someone's trying to psych people out well it's it's a way of going to the last place without paying for it I mean, potentially. Yeah. 12. 13. I will take your 13. All right. I can get uh, change for a five. Uh, change for a five. Gotcha. All right. And uh, now four ships. Since I, since I lost that one, let's do. Um, 
I'm making that. Yeah, it's worth twelve bucks since I didn't spend them before. Edward, um, the the six is period right across, not per column. No, it's each each, each column. column. It is okay. So then I get I'll get the expedition for that then. Okay. All right. So you spent it already. Technically, you do that as an action. Um, no, it's not an action. I don't between. believe. But uh, during that, but I don't think it really oh, matters at fine. this point. We'll hold on to um, it. I'll do it. I'll do it during during the action phase. It makes sense that you wouldn't do it during the auction. Yeah. Yeah, but but six and one half dozen the other because it doesn't affect anything. But so you'd be at twelve. Yeah. I really should. Buy I bid two. So, so not that anyone knows what 12. I have. Right twelve. I don't remember seeing you get ten. So yeah. It's yours for twelve. I should have been more for the thing. All right. Thank you. Okay, cool. So I can do it now, right? Yes. Or do I have to wait for my turn? You, you sh yeah, do it now. It is your turn. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Your it first, is your turn. Your first so player. Yeah. All right, now you get your expedition. All right, cool. All right, and that's his turn? Yeah, because he developed for free. Got it. And you're allowed to be over your limit because those don't apply. Exactly. When you hit those. Yep. Okay. The limit doesn't apply, I should say. I'm going to develop here. It's going to cost me one shift. Oh, that. W but that wasn't that wasn't my turn. That wasn't my action. That's true. That was right. That, um, that wasn't your action. Right? No, it was no, not. It right. was just an extra. Right. Um, extra. Okay. One, two. Five. So are you guys following along? So I need to hit three. No, I need to hit five. Ouch. Oh, it says move your least developed marker up. <laughs> what? what? I think we. The one closest to the top. You're right. Oh. Christopher's right. I apologize. That was way overpaid for then. Yeah, that's a yeah. totally different thing. Yep, that's totally on me. So you pay? He paid twelve for that. That's uh, thirteen. 13. I think we do let him do it because this yeah. is what we decided to do. You know yeah, what? No, no. With the information, yeah. Good good yeah. point, Christopher. So, yeah, I I agree. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, it's right. your least. Of, no, that's I don't fine. like taking just, those kinds of things. No, 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 no. It's, that's that's how, how we understand. You know what? It's in the rule book. I just blew it. I dropped the ball on that. Sorry about that, guys. Good catch, Christopher. Well, that's what he paid for. So Right, yeah. 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 It's still that's, auction. There's a fair value for it. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Did you go? No, that's... Yeah, no, okay. Sure. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to try to colonize again for the okay. uh, Calicut. 12, so you're starting at five. at 5. Yeah. That's 8. That'd be 11. Jeez. There's all you're 12. Welcome. Wow. <sighs> Thank you're you, welcome. sir. Yep. Appreciate your turning them. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I really need that. Okay, well, he's deciding I'm going to develop go. ships here. Yeah. So there's my thingy. You move that down. I'll flip this over, and I'll take another call on this one. I'm at it. Done. All right, I'm going to harvest. I need a pepper and a ginger, please. That, this? Yep. Thanks. I'm going to try to settle Cochin. Okay. So, yeah. I'm, so I'm at two. And you eight. need to be, what is that, six? Eight. Eight. Okay, so you're at two. Through all threes we already, so. Five. I'm just being yeah, a team yeah, player. Yeah, okay, you're seven. You're doing right. good. Hey, just, so. I don't want you guys whining about it. <laughs> okay, equal opportunity. You each paid one. I think that's reasonable and fair. Yep, this okay. well, keeps going. Cool. Dang right. it. Round two. Yep. All right. All right. Um, I will go ahead and raise it. Do I have enough? It's four ships and those four resources. Yeah, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that yet. Um, so I can raise my ships up. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. All there. Right. Wow. All right. Yep, that's four ships and all four spices and an extra expedition. Oh, no, those are both there. Thank you, sir. Mm hmm. I'm going to develop here. Take care, Yoda. So that's that. Can and this time this? I do pay a ship. 
And I get an extra action card because I've got all down that row. I think this is the right thing because we're in the first phase of the or the first uh, the four turns in B. I think getting my ships up here and then being able to get five ships every time, I think is the right way to go. So I need to get ships to be able to do that first though. So I'll take three ships. Done. And Jerry. Oh, isn't this three? No, no we're in two. two. Yeah. You beat me to it too. All right, I'm not going that way then. Let's go a different direction. Uh, oh, being able to get the extra expedition yeah. for it? So I'm going to spend one to drop this down. Okay. Which gives me an extra action. It does, because they're all at that first level. Yep, that's a good point. Yep, but I was first. You were. <laughs> Robert? Uh, I am... Wow, it makes that pretty weak. Um... I think I'm going to go, I'm going to ship, I'm going to grab two ships then. Okay. okay. Dave? Um, yeah, I think that applies to just about all of us here, Jess. I can stop anytime I want. I'm not jonesing. It's been 12 hours since I played the board game. I'm going to harvest for a cinnamon one. and a pepper, please. No, cinnamon. Oh, you need you give me colors. All right. I don't know my spices at all. All right. All right. So for me, now I will develop down. So that's going to be a, a ginger, a cinnamon, and a pepper, and trace ships. So that drops that, which gets me uh, an expedition card. I'm taking 10 bucks. All right, uh, extractions. Turn. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm just gonna tax for a whole whopping four. Woo! But you gotta have, you gotta be liquid, right? Yeah. And we could talk about plantations too, because like if you lose them, whatever's on there gets lost, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. If you if you replace it, whatever's on that. If I were to end up placing that clove, those would go away as well because they don't have a home. Oh, gotcha. I'm developing okay. here, so I get one ship. Uh, change. And do I yeah, want to take my extra Yeah, you're eight too, right? Yeah. Looking at the board, I don't think I want to take my extra action. I think I'm all set. Yeah, I'm done. Jerry? I want to take another 10. Okay. You know, it's people like you <laughs> the cost of everything. No, I keep the economy afloat. And always we'd be bartering yeah, no stuff. More, no more, more extra. And iPad, we're done. Yep. All right. So this now just goes away. There we go. Three left. Bobby? Where, where, where? I'd like you to choose somewhere else. <laughs> okay. Right there. <laughs> Good choice. So this gives you one each of those. Yep, it does. Hey, there's the valuable two ginger right below it. Yeah, there that's true. Mission or duty, Robert? Mission is just a flat two points. Yep, and duty is five if you discard six resources. And five is a lot for a little scoring game. Yeah, it is. All right, so. First player and marker. Dave. Two bucks. It's coming. I'll five. go five. 
I'll do seven. I'll take seven. Yep. Should have been buying it all along. One of each, huh? <coughs> yeah. Sorry about that. I'd like to keep going first. That was... Then I realized where you placed it. Oh, jeez, why did I like that? Hmm. I'll go ten. So is my mind to be <laughs> Ouch. I'll pass. I'll pass. Here's for nine. All right. Didn't expect that. I thought I thought once I got past Jerry, I thought I was good. All right, so espionage allows you to act like you have somebody else's level for inaction. Well, I know it's worth at least 10. Or five ships. Or six settlers. The, oh, yeah, and now, now, now I'm paranoid. Let me make sure. Choose an opponent and do one of these actions using the position of the player's progress marker. Right. Okay. You can't use it to get expedition cards, though. Nine. Well, that means I'm paying eight. Okay. Pass. I'll go ten. The pile a little bigger. <laughs> so that is uh, that's nine. <coughs> All right, swap card. Swap printing on the board. So how exactly does that work? Literally, you take it and you place it on the board and replace something that's out there. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Ten. Twelve. Yep. I was hoping you guys are out of money. <laughs> <laughs> no such luck. I know who is, though. <laughs> <laughs> These are tens. Yeah. Well, he, he did tax ten twice, right, so yeah. there was that. Right. All right, you're up, Dave. Uh... I'm going to pass, looking at my board. Yeah. I'll go six. Pass. Hey, Portos. Wow, really? Five for that. And the one person who isn't generating well. <laughs> exactly. I can though. Well, it keeps it from somebody else. That's me. Yeah. It's for the team. Whoa, Don't now. let them talk it's, you it's into a, that. Oh, this no. is a co-op almost. Yeah, his money's not good in that house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. <sighs> okay. All right, Jerry, you're He up. wasn't talking me into it. He was actually, I was trying to hope someone would talk me out of it. Well, I, I was wanting it. I would have taken he it. He only I was okay. six. I'm producing. <laughs> For five points? Exactly. That's ridiculous. Yeah. But it keeps it from me, but I don't know if you're going to get it. Well, I was looking at what it was worth for you, right. and it was worth way more than double six, so I had to take it. Okay. And while I'm, so don't forget later, I'm going to swap this okay. for... Double nutmeg? There. Okay. So that'd be out of the game, right? Yep. No, it won't be out of the game. This one will. Oh, yeah, that will, yeah. Holy mackerel. All right, what's your action? I'm done. I produced those two. Oh, oh, gotcha. Um, all right, I'm going to produce one. And it'll obviously have to be this guy right here. Doesn't matter. 
I'm also going to produce, and I want a black, a green, a red. Wow. And the browns. I'm going to go and get five ships. So going into two. Pretty much every card I've got in this expedition pile is useless for me. Well, hopefully, uh, don't forget. Um, I'm upgrading. They are uh, set collection, yes. too. Yes. So green, that. I get one of these back. I am done. I'm going to develop him and one ship. Uh, I'm going to try for Madras. And Madras is what, 10? Yep. And you're at two? That's three. That's six. And that'd be ten. Wish I'd been better. But you can't help yourself. Oh, they're different. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Should I help you so I know what I'm getting? <laughs> uh, so you can make sure you're getting it. <laughs> right. Since I'm last to the party. This is terrible for me right now. And I'll take two um, of the nut meats. Or white. Right. Nobody, you can do one of each if you need it. Yeah, I'm uh, so I'm okay. Man. I'm going to go a nutmeg. I'm sorry. I'm going to uh, harvest. So I'm going to go a nutmeg and a pepper, please. Those two, red and green. Nope. Oh, green. <laughs> I can't do colors or spices, obviously. All right, I am going to produce. I get to produce four. So I'm going to do two of those, a red mm. and a black. All right, and hold on. That Oh, that's action three, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And I will produce these two. I'm going to come down here, and uh, three ships. And you're the first one expedition. down there, so you get an expedition. Oh, yay. I think that's what I was waiting on. Dave, to get there first? No. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my espionage now, and produce six. One, two, three, four, e maybe not. Hold one, two, on. Two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll wait on that. It's there in my back pocket anyway. So instead, I will go ahead there. So that's one ship and the pepper and the extra action. There you go. Thank you. All right, so we're to extra action time. Yep. Uh, I guess I have to spend one, so I will. You have to spend two. You have to spend two, two but I one at a time, time, right? All right, so I'm going to upgrade that. There's my four ships. There's my four goods. Yep, and that's an expedition as well. Thank you. Okay. And No action. Dave? Yeah, I'll spend it for eight dollars. Just taxing my Oh, people. eight. Sorry, yeah. I'm in my own head trying to figure out what it is I'm doing. So with this first extra action, uh, looking up espionage one more time. Wow. Look okay. Brian. He's got a garage. Sex. All right. So if that's the case, um, I'm actually going to... The other option is that over there. No, stay on target. So I'm going to go ahead and have an expedition. So, or develop there, there, and two ships there. Then, now, I will use my espionage to produce six resources. 
And Jerry, you're up. And that was your action, or do you have another one? I, uh... That was... Hold on, let me th see. That was my second one. Yeah. Well, it's our first time around, though, for actions. Is it? Yeah. So if yeah, you had, if you had that was two, your first one. That was your first one. Because that it? card is free. Oh, you're right. right. Okay, you're right. Those so, are the three you have to do. So hold on. Uh, why? Because those are the only options for those two spots, three spots. Oh, okay. So I'm definitely going there. Go ahead, Jerry. You don't have to all, all right. them, actually. So I'm one, spending. I'm taking 12 bucks. Two. I'm good with that. I mean, three. I need a pepper at least. So that would be four. four. No, pepper. Oh. So I always need black pepper. Four. I'll take a... Oh, I have cloves, don't I? Uh, I'll take another pepper is five. And another cinnamon is six. Done. And it's back nice. to you. Do I get a thank you? Thanks. Appreciate it. Good looking out. All right, yeah. cool. <laughs> All right. Um, so extra action, Jerry? I took mine. Back okay. Um, I'll go ahead and actually, do I spend it for two expeditions? I think I... Yeah, actually, I will. I'll spend it. Take two expeditions. Done. I'm going to spend my last action to take three ships, please. All right, so we're done with extra actions? Yep. Let's see. Do we have a problem with expeditions as far as hand size? So nope, I'm, I'm at three. We're good. Yeah, we don't check our hand size at the end of each turn. You no, check it's it when just when you're when doing you're the action. The action. Got it. Yeah. All right, so first player. Where are we? Jerry, go for it. Mm. I know where I would like you to put it. I could just be rude to see how it plays out, couldn't I? No, everything's connected, so you can... All right, uh, Robert, you go here. Yeah, yeah, great options for um, us here, Jerry. Dave, I must you delight. go here. Let's see if see, these are going to be first. It's a free player. two <laughs> points for me. I'm happy. I'm speeding uh, up the game. Not a lot of thought goes into it. That was really bad, Jerry. It's three points. That's, That's a, really bad. That's like easy points. That's just really bad. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Well, this should be a big money auction. Good thing I have big money. All right. I guess I should double check my money, huh? Right. Robert, you're starting for first player. Hey, Michael. We're uh, we're s on six of, or seven of eight, actually. Eight. Uh, I'll start with five. Eight. Yeah. You can like my placement, huh? No. <laughs> He's bitter. I appreciate that you're going first, though. Thank you. Eight, seven. Yeah, I'll take your money just because. Just because. I support yeah. this. Okay. All right, yeah, Jerry. so two points. What's two points worth to you? Four dollars. I'll go five. I have no idea what the value is. I'll regret it later, I'm sure, though. I'll pass. Sure, it's two points four, for four bucks. Four bucks for two points? <sighs> <laughs> Everything else is virtually useless to me. I'll take the two points for four bucks. Okay. All right. Oh, excuse my friend. No, it's all good. Don't sweat it. There you go. 
There, and there you go. All right, so for me, I will go six. Keeping it at two per. <laughs> <Right. laughs> wow. What's the. So these are one, three, six, ten? Uh, I believe so. Yes. On your cheat sheet. Would well, you add six? Seven. Okay, yep. Uh, I elect to pass. Okay. I'll take your seven dollars. I should have probably took the first player for three points. All right. All right. Uh, four colonists. And yes, these are one, three, six, and ten. And it sure looks like uh, everybody not named Robert who can't afford it anyways uh, should bid early and often on this one. And you guys are almost full. Yeah, but, but it's not. It's a four point swing but for you. That, that, but that, those four colonists all but assure me that I will get it. Yeah, they do. So I assure you I want them. And even if I didn't, I would tell you that. But I do want right. them. But I do want them. Yeah. Um, but you need them too, man. You need to get yeah. yours going. Look at that. It's almost too late. Uh, let's do eight. Pass. Eleven. That's a strong reward. <laughs> I appreciate the eleven. I figure. And don't forget, it's three points for whoever has the most money at the end of the game, right? Yeah. You said 11? So four colonists for 10, huh? Yes. I'll take your 11. I figured you would. Uh, oh, I like going last on this. All right, Robert. Two extra actions. Good, sir. Four. I don't think that's going to get it done. <laughs> I don't think so either. In the limb. I don't think so either. I don't know that you can go high enough. Yeah. But we'll, try. We'll try. <laughs> Some bullshit just pass. I'm going to double his bid. Wow. Yeah. I'll go 16. <laughs> so I'm guaranteed three points. Four, eight, sixteen. <laughs> right. So it seems like that might be doubling every. I'll take time. your money. Sixteen. <laughs> ah, so close, but. For the guy that you were, it. you were wanting that, but not sixteen wanting that. Oh no, he did <laughs> want it at sixteen. He just couldn't afford <laughs> right. it at sixteen. Yeah, let's not be mistaken. My lack here. of my lack of tens hurt me. Yeah. All right, Dave. Hey, Chris. Oh, yeah, I'm first player. I get to start this mess. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I think I'm going to do this and this. And then I'm going to go for this. For what? All right, so you need 12. What are you at? You're at 2? Two? 2. 4. 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Got it. Nice. That's that one. Yeah. Look. Other way. Sorry. All good. And which I two spices? Oh, geez. Um, you can think about that in a minute, and, yeah. or for a minute, and... Cinnamon, and what else? Okay, so for my turn, I'm going to develop using no ships. Is that just got it? it? Yep, using no ships. So I'm going and to develop down one. to here, no. there, 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 and there. And I will take another expedition for it. And I'm allowed to go over my hand size because it's that expedition. So we have maxed yes. out on ships. That is a pile of ships. They are pricey extra actions, Omer, but I, I think that was, uh, I think it was necessary for me because I feel like I'm lagging behind these guys right now. All right, so I'm going to spend my card, which lets me just spend ships to move my one down. So I'm going to move that down there. And since 
I am not the first one. You are not the first one. Dang it. And the, you're talking about the first one to that for the expedition. Right. right. Well, I'm going to just spend it to move the ships down then. And I'm done. <clears throat> Goes down there. Yeah. All right, Robert. So bring it grab, up so folks can see oh, it. Sorry, I'm there gonna you. grab two ships. Okay. Plus your action. And I am going to develop uh, my harvesting. Okay. So it's going to be green and cinnamon, or peppers and cinnamon. All right. All right. And Dave, it's going to take two ships. And we are on to three now. I'm also taking two ships. No, I think we're on two. Two. We're on two. This is two. I flipped it up. Oh, did you already? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I was going to say all that. I had one turn. And that's why we do this, right? <laughs> to keep track of how many we've done. Um, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. I feel oh, like I'm one short. That is really gross. And the actions are so important right now, but I need that. Well, you're thinking I'm going to turn that card in for five bucks. Okay, yeah, you can do it before, after, during. I got you. Thanks. Man. So what I'm stressing over is I'm currently at four. That gives me five to be able to go after Calicut. You need to get, oh. I, but I have, I have a card that allows me of certain things, so. Magic. It is. Heretic. So two, four, six, ten, eleven. I feel like I'm one short unless I draw perfect. So I don't. I think that would be wasted. So looking at what my available actions are, I could. Yeah, it's not ideal, but I'll go ahead and develop that there, there in two ships. Done. I'm producing. So I take two white. Oh, no, I'm not doing chips. Sorry. Focus. Five. Okay. I'm going to harvest four cloves. Wow. And I'm going to immediately get 12 decots for them. Uh... Oh, you're okay. You're selling four for yep. of ducats. All right, so here you go five, ten, and twelve. Yep, turn in some of those fives, Diamond Jim over there. All right, and Dave, now we're on to three. There we're we go. going to develop here with my ships. Okay, it costs ginger and a cinnamon. Yep. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. All right, Almost. so I'm going to harvest four resources. I need a ginger, a white, a brown. Do it easier for you. Thank you. Yep. Uh, a red and a green. There you go. Right, so I'm going to harvest also two whites, a brown, and a green. And that's the extra action phase. Okay. Nope. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Oh. Not until it gets I was thinking Robert was first. All right, Robert. <laughs> He's like, I would like to take an action. All right. Sheesh. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, harvest. So you can move forward because it's going to take me a bit okay. to figure out what go for. for. It. Dave, extra right. actions. I am also yeah. going to use my extra action to harvest. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Again, I have to look at this and then decide. So I want two cinnamon, please. And I'm using an extra action to take six ships. That should be enough for the rest of the game, I think. And I don't have any more. Robert doesn't have any, and so it's back to me, I guess. Yep. yep. A, date and a, a red and a green. All right, so I'm going to spend my extra action to get an extra action by developing there for that, that, and two of the ships. So 
So now the question is, do I want... So I've got two more. So those go there. That goes there. That goes there. I can have anything I want. I'll take a black one and uh, a red one. That'll be my six. The question is, I don't know if is I can it it's still points, right? All right, I am going to oh, take my awesome. extra last action, and I'm going to develop down to here, which is that, that, and that. It's points, right? And that's three ships. I don't get the extra expedition current because Bobby's already beat me down there. All right, that's it. Yep. We are into the final round, starting with Dave for the flag. Do it somewhere useful. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> How'd that work last time? Still didn't work. Try again. <laughs> Options. Obviously, you want, you want there, so... Actually, I'd like the expeditions, <clears throat> too. So if I, if I don't place my marker on it, I'm thinking somebody else will, so I'll be able to fight for it. So there's that. There's that. Stepping on Legos. <laughs> so he's right underneath your heel bone, too. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Drive that in. It's like a tattoo. It doesn't go away. Oh, all right. That's kind of a no-brainer for me. Oh, well, hold on one second, actually. Yeah, we're good with that. That's kind of what I figured. All right. That's a very Jerry? good place. Yeah. So one <laughs> expedition card. Right. Or <coughs> two cinnamon and you open it up. Nope. I guess. Let's keep the crap. Oh, no. Let's keep it ugly. Now Robert could open it up. What's it going to be? King making. All right, here we go. So so the first player is only worth one action. Yeah. Just to be clear. And to go first in each of these in case me coming oh, down on those, point. right? Yeah, true. So I'll go six. Seven. Eight. Sold. And you have uh, one. And take yes. your extra action, too. There you go. All right. A ship, a colonist, and an extra action. So if that just went for eight, this is like 14. So I'm in the catbird seat. Jerry? I'll take your 14. Good appraisal. See? That's yeah, pass. Sixteen. <laughs> uh, I thought fourteen was a lie. I, I was happy with fourteen. <laughs> I'm happier with, I, with sixteen. That's like a well-grown pepper. Plantation. All right. Three. <laughs> do we Five. Talk, do we talk about peppers at the end of the game? It's, it's, it's huge. <laughs> uh, I need all my money for getting my own. Current bid's five. What the hell you got? Six. <laughs> Not a <laughs> Ouch. Just late in the game. What a win. That just, oh, that's awesome. I should just gave it away. It should be a charity thing. 
Oh my god. Charity auction. All right, Dave. Three, uh, three cinnamon. So we'll start with five. I'll go six. It's not so much that I care that it's three cinnamon. It's the fact that it's cinnamon, because I ain't got none. Well, it's five points for him, too. Um, pass. Six? Uh-huh. That's the current So it's bit. five for me? It is. I'm okay either way, actually. I'll take your six. All right. And guess what? You turn around and you get to bid on this one. Uh, uh, I'll go 12. Twenty. <laughs> Robert's paused. He's he's holding the four marker and it just kinda <laughs> hung there for a minute. Yeah, pass. Three expeditions? Yeah. One, two, three. So it's called gambling. That's it. Set collection, don't forget. So these are done. No one's got the swap, so all right. Um, okay, so we got the first player out of all that? I did. Bobby, you're up. Can you put that back? Um, yeah, I guess I'll do that first. I'm going to go ahead and develop money. All right, Dave. Uh, I'm going to go here and develop. Um, oh, I get an extra action card, too. So that's For what? a red. I finally broke oh, the tiger right, cool. here. And two ships. I don't think I can do that. Can I get a ship in the compass? All right, we're gonna go gambling, boys. Let's do it. Got a cut. Two. And two. This Four. One. Nine. That's 10, and that says I get to draw a third one. So as long as it's two or three. So I, I have two thirds of a shot yeah. here. So you know what, Bobby, you, you haven't been around much on streams. You seem like a pretty decent dude. Cut. He seems like... All right. Anybody else want to cut? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 2, 4, 7, 12 right there. There we go. Whew. Good job. Thank you. Good cut. That, Good that, job. All right. You, you are right. Um, so what do I need? I need a nutmeg. Let me, let me see it real quick here. So Does it feel right? Me. Does it feel right? So it's those three. Should I take my turn? I yeah, I need uh, I need another nutmeg, please. Thank I you. Upgrade that. <laughs> Woo! All right. Um, all right, I'm done. Hey Dan, welcome. Yeah. You so, took my uh, you took my guy off the board there. Two. Yep, it's gone. Wasn't happy with that. Um, so I was sitting out there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and harvest these four. And this is number two. Good. All right. Pretty simple. And okay. I'm flipping. I'm going to ditch three. Or four, I mean. Or six, I mean. Six. Yeah, uh, two, so four. So keep, which one do you want to keep? Yep. What do you need, Dave? Uh, I just got Those. three ships, so it's you. Gotcha. All right. So with no extra actions, I need to make sure. There. I think I screwed this up. There. I think I'm one action short. I think I'm one action short. Man. Oh, that's frustrating. They might have an extra action they're willing to give up here. All right. I hate to do it, but golly, I got to take ships. 
Mm. That's gross. All right. All right, I'm gonna produce that plus a production. So two, uh, so six resources. There you yeah. go. Okay. There you go. Okay. So go ahead. And Bobby. Uh, I'm gonna harvest. All right. Does this feel tense to anybody else right now? Because it certainly does to me. Because because of the fact that it's hidden scoring, I have no idea where I'm at. That looks like a four popper. And that's an extra expedition, right? Yep. Yes. And these go away. All right. So, for now, oh, that was, we're on to three. So it's going to be three ships. And I don't really think, actually, it does matter. Has anybody made it down to the six level on expeditions? Nope. Yeah. No, expedi oh, expeditions. Sorry, that's, that's so, colonies. So colonies. that's a nutmeg. Yeah. I, there, what? Oh, no, you're, no, six. Oh, uh, I can't the six. shoot. I can't do the that six. one. Hold on. He meant this. Oh, oh, okay. Damn it. I can't do it. It's one of those two. I should have taken a ginger instead. So I could have gotten the extra expedition card. All right, well, it doesn't matter then, so we'll go here. Is this third? Or second? There. Third. This third. Third. Damn. Yeah, oh, I know. Wait. Tell me about it. That's it? Wait. He just took his... Wait a minute. No, it's, this is our second. So oh, is it? No, this, yeah. this is the third. I thought we were starting the third when it came back to me because I thought I only had two actions. You had your third. Hold on, peanut gallery. Harvested. Are we on the second or third? I thought I Dave's. Yeah, I thought it was the third. So, so I did. Christopher, which is it? Hold on. Don't yeah, because what I did hey, was the first one I came down here for ships. Second one I took ships. The third one I played. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yep, so that's the third. What the hell did I do for my third action then? You produced. You have, oh, well, I pr I I produced and changed on my last action, my prior action, and then you I produced, produced again. You're right. Yeah. Okay, it is three. Okay, yeah, so extra go. actions. Oh, I can't do it. Okay, I'm gonna. I am going to. It's worth a point. It's worth two points. I'm gonna buy my way down, one step, which would be twelve <clears throat> bucks. To the second step. Yeah. Right. Yep. Doesn't matter. It's Twelve. Age. There you go. So there's cash. This okay. is gone. And then for my action, I'm just going to gamble and. Well, hold on. We're. Oh, that was interaction. You're right, guy. Right. Yeah. And then I'm going to try to settle Madras. All right. So you need ten, and what are you at? You're at four. So five, six, eight. Come on, baby. Nine. <laughs> I get an extra one for next turn. Though. <laughs> there you go. Oh. There All you right. go. All right. So Bobby, extra actions. I plead that all that changes. So I can only get one expedition card if I do this right, which I don't know. Uh, well, no, you have two. Oh, you mean for dropping something? Yeah. What? What nah, would you I'm get? I'm not gonna be able to do it though. Oh, you have two actions. Sorry. Yeah. If I yeah, if I went down here, then I'd be able to get one. But I I don't have. Well, I don't want to use the ship. We thrown away two points. I need another one of those. Yeah, you and me both. It's killing me. Cost me three points. That might be the difference. No! Dang it. Shite. That one was a good word. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you got one of them right now. That's a two for a two, actually. So that's an even. Can I that's an even swap. The big one. Oh, crud. There you go. That was bad. All right, I will go ahead and just get two ships. Okay. And Dave, your extra action. Get rid of one of yours. Oh, I Bobby. could get an yep. extra action card. That would be good. Okay, so nobody's gone to the town, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's all the way down. past that. Yep. Anybody go? Yeah, he's got ships. How about here? That's the only one that hasn't been done. Well, no. You don't oh, you nutmeg. didn't end up doing it. You don't have nutmeg. Oh. 
Damn it. All right. Yep. So you got to pay your three ships? I don't have to pay anything. Yeah, you do. You don't have to pay the resources. You got to pay the ships. <laughs> <laughs> Here, excuse me. Yeah, put me, put me back there. there Let's see. So, uh, yeah, I, I have. Oh, that was when we needed the ships and not the uh, uh, God. resources. Yep. I don't like the fact that it has a red X. I did when same you're here, the, the iconography on that. I, I'm not super keen on. So silly. So I need ships to do anything, and I don't have ships, so that ain't gonna work. Well, I might as well come down here then. I don't have any ships. So you're not progressing. I'm not progressing, yes. You, you are not Give me colonizing. Eight bucks. eight bucks. There you go. Okay, you got two? No. Oh. Oh, it doesn't guess. matter then. Because I have more than eight, so don't worry about it. So uh, I've got 20. Oh, sorry. Okay, you. Yeah. So oh, you don't have a two, but you have plenty of money. I have gotcha. lots and lots of money. Okay, just I made sure twos. That. I apologize. Okay, yeah, you did. Like That's 30. right. Yeah, I think you get those three. All right, Bobby, back to you. Final action of the game. It really doesn't matter which one I do. So, I'll just raise up my uh, expedition. And that's it. All right. So we go into final scoring. Do you want to read it or keep score? Uh, here, I'll let you keep score. Or here, you read. Here, it's, I got everything right here. All right. So, All right. So we have <clears throat> score pad. Game ends. Okay. Final scoring. Yep. Victor points for position of the progress. So right here, start with Jerry. So one, three and three, seven, 27. 27 for Jerry. Bobby? One, two, five, eight, ten, ten, eighteen. Dave? This is easy. Three, six, nine, ten, twenty. And I'm at ten, twenty-two, and six is twenty-eight. Okay, next one. Uh, victory points for colonies founded. That's so the ones the, on the bottom. Yep, and Jerry, how many did you get? Just two, so... S is three, that three? three? Yeah. Three for Jerry. Robert? Uh, ten points. Good job. All four. 10 points for David. And 10 for Edward. That one hurt you. Yeah, it did. All right, what Victory else? Victory points for expedition cards. Okay, so Jerry, what card? What sets do you, you have? One. one. So that's one. Robert? Three points. Three, you have two palm trees, yep. so three points. One little tiger for one. One tiger, and of course I have a couple of elephants. Three. All right. Uh, victory points for the player with most ducats, 33. Yeah, um, so 33. I do not have 33. I have 10. I got 5. Or I have 12, sorry. I've okay. got 14. Okay. Uh, yeah, you still only get 3, though, Dave. All right, what else? Uh, the next one is Purple Plantation, 3 points. Okay, so even though I had that, so that's uh, one. victory point. Yeah, for one for that. For, for the ones. Okay. For the ones. Yep, Any sorry. other singles? One. One for Robert. So, hold on. So, one. Okay. Then what? Uh, victory points for a duty tile. That's Which, Robert did complete it, so it's going to be five for Robert. Seven. Seven. Well, well no, it's five for the duty. Yep. And then yeah. for the mission tiles. He gets two more. Jerry's getting three. And Robert gets two. And Robert gets two. All right, here we go. So, Jerry, you're looking at... Not much. 34... Better than me. Uh, no, no. Huh? Robert, 28, 30. So, I'm sorry, hold on. 28, 30. So that looks like 39 to me. Leader in the clubhouse. Dave, 34. And me, 38, 41, 42. Nice. So, hashtag bad teacher, 42. Robert, a close second at 39. And thank you for playing, both of you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, All we right. tied. Yeah. Yeah, 34. The yeah. bottom. <laughs> yeah. All right. No fourth place. Look at that. You're right. Yeah. That's right. Uh -huh. You're technically <laughs> tied for third. Three That's players. actually a valid point. So, yeah. So, Goa, um, your first game of it, what would you think? Classic. Um, it's perfect. It's a great game. Simple. Um, definitely you see a lot of playthroughs on this before getting bored with it. Okay. All right. So, how about you, Jerry? I like how it changes every time. You can't play the same strategy every time because it really depends on the layout and how it flows, snakes through. I'd say the only downside is that settling is luck-based. 
So if someone can draw sixes, they can save all their dudes. And I mean, that's a fair point for the for the colonies. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. luck. Right. It's gotcha. reduced, but it's there. Okay. How about you, Dave? Yeah. Um, it's a glowing review. <laughs> I, I, I think it says a lot, though. Eh. All right, go ahead. No, I, it's it's okay. Um, how many hours are we at? Uh, two hours, 20 minutes, including the teach. Yeah, so that's not bad. No. So, you know, if this was if this was going out to a meetup I'm going to, I, I said, sure, I'll play it. Um, am I excited about buying a copy of it and getting it? Probably not. But... Um, I, th I think you're totally right about who cares about what the theme is because mm -hmm. it's it's there but you know at no point was I thinking that we were colonizing places no. or yeah. that we were any anything like that this is or the epitome things, really yeah the epitome of paste it on on uh, theme uh, I was I will say it's kind of funny that I only got the smallest part, uh, field that you can get it's still only three points behind. That's a good point. The fact that. that you only had one plantation the entire game and, and still was competitive. Yeah. However, yeah. you yeah, two yeah. guys who scored more, I've only got two. So plantations do matter. I love they they help. I mean, if I could have gotten one another one, I probably would have been a lot more comfortable in the overall game. Yeah. Don't think I would have won because I would have had to change what I was doing. Sure. Right. I think it's funny that um, your reunion has had this up on the shelf forever, and I think I've only noticed it get played once. Oh, the Thursday and, night game group, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, which blows me away because I now that I've played it, I'd definitely be up for playing it a lot more often. No worry, chats, yeah. And I do know that there are a couple of variants in the box. I haven't played with them, I'll be honest, but I, I see uh, Scott says, uh, heard there's a variant to mitigate the, the random draw of the, of the expedition cards. And honestly, one thing, one easy fix, if you don't like the randomness of the expedition cards, is do like what we do with uh, Feast for Odin, which is just make a display of X amount of cards. You can either draw from the display or draw random off the top of the deck, and that helps mitigate it as well. Yeah, because when I'm not packing a lot of stuff right. to sell, oh, and I had a handful of these cards... For re selling resources? Yeah, it's it was useless. They were sitting and holding up my hand for the whole game. But then again, there's set collection, which in theory could help mitigate Give that. Give me an extra two points. Is there, so is there a card that's just backwards of this? It doesn't cost you ships? Yes, yes there, is. there is. There's the opposite, but not both. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And for me... Um, it's a little fiddly, um, which is kind of ironic. I'm nitpicking a little bit, just the constant exchanging, because essentially there are three currencies in the game, right? You have cash, ducats, you have colonists, and you have ships. Yeah. And so the constant, it's just, it's a little fiddly with that. Um, I think it's, I think it's solid for what it is. I don't, I'm never going to be like, yes, let's play Koa. I can't. I'm, eh. So I'm a little bit above Dave and somewhere below Robert um, where, I, <laughs> where I feel below this to where I'm like, okay. no, I enjoyed, but I, I don't want those two hours back. You know what I mean? <laughs> but for 15 years, too, though, I mean, nobody's really copied it and like cloned it, so it's a pretty good design to hold up at long. Totally, totally good point. And yeah, 15 years in a board game industry where we are right now, that's that's holding its own Yeah, outside of war games. I got right. that. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's a, I think it's a solid euro, and it's a classic for a reason. I think it it holds up well. I don't I don't feel like it's terribly dated. I feel like this is a good example of what euros kind of were back in the day, before the explosion of more complexity, more mechanical complexity, as well as uh, just decision matrix. And I mean, there were agonizing decisions throughout this, throughout the entire game. So, right. sim simplified, but still, still thoughtful. You, you, you know what I would really like? This is totally out of left left field. I like somebody to design a Titan, the game Titan, without without the uh, <laughs> just a little out of left field. <laughs> yeah. just a little. Yeah. Yeah. I I could definitely see someone literally taking the exact mechanics of this game and finding a much better skin for it. Yeah. Um, the theme absolutely could be, I mean, it could be whatever you want it to be, right? right. Um, but I also think that being able to take some of the, like the, the actual auction mechanic, the main mechanism in this game, I think being able to 
translate that into as a part of another game also. Well, what other games go one time around? Oh, there's a, there's a number. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's no. a bunch of different auctions. When, when Tony and I did our, uh, a highlight on auctions, you know, there's so many different yeah. types, but there are a number of games that are just, whether it's once around or whether it's, uh, in fact, Modern Art has a mix of all the different auctions, right? Yeah. Or a lot right. of them, That's where, you know, blind bids or whatever. My but favorite it's nice too not to have, when you mess with people, the auctions, but then you're done. And then the turns can be quick because you're just thinking about your board. You're not, you know, right. it's, you're not kind of wasting for Dave to play. So I can figure what I want to do next. So it's it's nice. Those three actions go. They spin once yep. you play it. And if for the once around forces you to bid a true value, what you see Especially it as if a value you're one of or the first two bidders. Exactly right. Well, it speeds or, up the game too. And it does. Somebody it does. At, yep. out there said, "Is four the best to play this at?" And I think so because. Yeah. Any less, and then it changes the auction mechanic. And it doesn't yeah. go higher. And yeah. um, I, no, yeah, it's, it's just four, four right? Four, yeah. It's just four? Just yeah. four. Okay. So, no, I, I, and if you look on BGG, I think it says that it's voted that, like, two to one, it's the best uh, best player count for this. Um, but, yeah, so anything else, fellas? No? Bye. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Thanks again, everybody. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe. If you want to become the 721st patron, you better hurry. It's a race to be number 721. <laughs> <laughs> uh, PledgeHC.com to support the show. Really appreciate it, y'all. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on your Labor Day. And, fellas, thanks for taking time to do this for me as well as the peanut gallery. Thanks. That fun. was fun. Yeah. Yeah. What could be a better way of laboring than... Going over to Edward's exactly. playing a game. Exactly. Seriously. Thanks but, for having us. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. So, again, I'm Edward. I'm Banker Dave. Robert. I'm Jerry. All right. Y'all have a wonderful rest of the holiday for those in the States. Otherwise, have a good Monday, y'all. Take care. We'll be back uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday for Brides and Bribes. Take care, everybody. <laughs>